Welcome everybody. Thanks for checking out my Jackson Blue cave diving video. In this one, we're gonna be diving a really cool section called the Horseshoe Circuit. Here we go, we're fixing to get started. I'm looking back, checking to make sure Seth is right there. Emily's getting the primary reel going, so uh, here we go. Here I'm clipping off my O2 and uh, off we go into the cave. Here we're swimming through the cavern zone. We usually use this as a time to get everything situated, get comfortable, um, do our last second checks and just make sure everything's good to go before we drop down the chimney into the deeper section of the cave. For those of you who don't know, um, in simplest terms, Cavern zone is where light is still visible and the cave section is where no light is visible. Emily is headed down the chimney now. At the bottom, it's about 95 feet. Shortly thereafter, we'll approach the jump to the uh, horseshoe circuit. There's quite a bit of flow coming out of Jackson Blue, so you'll notice as we go down, it's not unusual for us to grab and pull and glide to help get us down. As I'm sure you'll notice, headed down the chimney, it's just a really cool way to start your dive. I love diving Jackson Blue, it's just a blast. Here we're approaching the bottom of the chimney. Emily's gonna be on the lookout for the double line arrows marking the jump to the horseshoe circuit. Here she is running our jump line on over. Seth and I are holding, waiting for her to get over there and give us the okay signal. Placing our rims on our way in. Thought this was a really cool time to bust out the camera and get a shot of Emily. Here I'm uh, pointing out to Seth where the beginning of the circuit is. He hadn't been here before, so I told him before the dive that I would uh, circle it for him to let him know. Next, I'm gonna let the video play. Uh, try not to talk too much as we navigate the horseshoe circuit. Right here is damn near a vertical shaft. I absolutely love this part. It's probably my favorite section of the horseshoe circuit. Our dive plan was to do two laps around the horseshoe circuit. The first one, we went to the right once we got to the T. Um, after doing the first loop around, we stopped and went to the left to do our second. Right now we're ascending that vertical shaft that previously on the first lap we went down. Right here I'm peeking down just making sure Seth is having no issues making his way up. Thank you. 
The visibility has definitely gotten worse. I think all three of us contributed uh, <laughs> to silting it out a little bit. Emily's here making it look easy. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but she's definitely more graceful than Seth and I going through. Now we're on our way out, headed back to the main line. If you're wondering what I'm doing there as I uh, shield my light against my chest, when you're cave diving, one of the easiest ways to keep track of your buddies behind you is just to monitor their light. So if Seth's light gets a little dim or I don't notice it going behind me, I'll shield mine just to see where he's at to make sure he's not too far back or if it's completely gone and I need to turn around and see where he's at. I like to keep a rem here on my wrist. Um, quick deploy, easy to get to when I need it. We're heading our way back across the jump line. Emily's reeling it in behind us. Seth is being a good dive buddy, helping illuminate the line and holding it and keeping a little tension so it's easier on Emily as she reels it in. Well, everybody, that'll do it for our Jackson Blue Horseshoe Circuit Diving video. I appreciate you hanging out till the end. Until next time.